start uh, with coming in this season, the loss of Arnold and, and Rashadi on the outside, leaving two opening starting positions for you to, to go after and make a run after. How, how much did that motivate you in the offseason? No, this is an opportunity for you to step up and be a playmaker. Oh, yeah, man. It's a lot of motivation for me, you know what I'm saying, just going in the offseason. Um, I had a goal just to work hard, you know what I'm saying, come out here and uh, just try to, you know, give it my all for my last year, you know. So. The two guys that you've got behind, you've got Blake Keller there with, you've also got Joe. How much does that motivate you of, of, of keeping the competition level up, of going out and trying to be a playmaker? Oh, man, I mean, it's, 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 it's a lot of uh, competition in our room. You know what I'm saying? They're all great players. You know, they all go hard every day. You know, they're out here grinding with me. So, I mean, it, it's, it, has to, it gives me an extra boost and an extra push, you know what I'm saying, to go hard every day, just knowing those guys are behind me, trying to, you know, because we all want to play, we all compete out here. Knowing the production that's been made from that outside spot, you go back a few years, you've got Jeremiah Taylor and Alex Bazzi, you've got Arnold and, and Rashadi last year, 11 and a half sacks between those two guys. Is the bar set very high yeah. for that position? Yeah, the bar is set very high, man. No, nobody can just go and walk out there and just be a starter or be a playmaker for that, you know, those positions. So, you know, you got to go out there and compete and, you know, work your craft and, and play with that great technique. So. How much does having the, the play between Steve Dillon and, and Jock in the middle helping you guys on the outside? That's a, that, man, that's a, that's a major plus because those guys get penetration and not back almost every play. And, you know, with that, you know, anybody can do what I do, if, you know, how great those are. So, When you get the edge and you look up and you see the backside of the quarterback, what's the first thing that goes through your head? I'm about, uh, I ain't going to say what it really goes ahead, but... No, I mean, it's just an exciting feeling, man. Just, just having the opportunity to get a sack or, or hit the quarterback, that's, that's a great feeling. So. Going up against this offensive line, how much does that get you ready for game time? Oh, going against, they're, they're a great competition, man. We all out here trying to get each other better. So I'm, I, I feel like I'm going against the best offensive line in the country every day. So I feel like I'm going to be at the top, you know, at, at, my, at, my, at my peak when game time comes down. So. The linebacking core in this group. How much does that help you? Just pin your ears back and go. Oh yeah, they, they're, they're fun to be around too, man. We at the practice room, we Kelly was just talking about how you know you can get down in the hill, get down in the gas, and take take some of the pressure off of us with lime and stuff like that. So we all, it's all one big union. We all trying to work together to make it happen. So. Who's the biggest jokester on that defensive uh, group? On the, on the defensive line, man. I would have to say Tamel. Tamel makes me laugh a lot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Steve's funny too. But to mail, to mail one is, is probably the funniest. Too, so. have, you, have you got any nicknames the guys have given you here? Monzi, Mons, uh, Cam Newton. Uh, what else? I just watched, but yeah. All right.